Hey, what's up tech fans? Welcome back to motherboards.org. I'm Elric Ferris, your host, and today we're bringing you guys what you asked for. Triple SLI goodness featuring three ASUS GTX 660 Ti's. This is their direct CU2 models. Now I've got the test station back behind me and we're gonna do the resolutions that you guys asked for. You guys asked for 2560 by 1440 and 1920 by 1080 action only and that's what we're gonna bring to the table for you folks today. Now, like I said, the test station's back behind me. Starting off for the power, I have the Tough Power 1200 watt from Thermaltake. Tech. That's the power behind the entire beast. As far as my SSD drive goes, I've got a single Single HyperX Kingston SSD. This is a 240 gigabyte model as my primary. Then I have the Runcore 480 gigabyte as my storage drive. Jumping up to the motherboard, I've got the Rampage 4 Extreme Board from ASUS, and I'm using 32 gigabytes of Patriot's new, that's right, it's their new Division 4 memory, the Viper Extreme. I'm using a 3820 from Intel, and I'm using currently Intel's cooler to cool the cooler and Kingston memory cooler to cool the Patriot memory. But anyways, that's about it folks for the test station. Now let's jump in, let's check out the performance marks you asked for, time to go. All right, everybody. So you guys saw the performance and everything. Now, one thing I want to just make a note of right off the bat, running three of these cards does get a little bit hot because they're right next to each other on the board. That kind of impairs the cooling a little bit. Make sure if you're putting these inside of a case that you have really, really excellent cooling or just water cool all three of them and you'll be really good to go. That's what I'm thinking about doing. Anyways, as far as the testing goes, it really does vary. Now, one of the things I want to note right off the bat that's also really great about the cars is the PhysX. Now, you can go into Batman and other games that support it and turn that PhysX all the way up and you can see a difference in the games. The games do look better. When you go from just two cars to three, you can see the game just popping out. Everything's popping out everywhere. Now, does every game that's out there support this and scale well? No, it does not. But the ones that do scale really well. You can see the differences between the ones that we ran the test of. I'm sure there's other games out there where performance is going to vary. So at the end of the day, I'd really say that if you're looking for PhysX and you're going to use PhysX for most of your games, then yeah, if you want to go out and spend this kind of money, it's pretty good. But I think that for most people, two cards in SLI is really going to be the sweet spot as far as SLI configurations. Now, I know I can take four GTX 680s and put them on there. I've seen people do it, but the scaling still just kind of like right there. I still think the sweet spot for NVIDIA cards is two cards in SLI, but you guys wanted to see it. So this is three cards in SLI from the people over at ASUS. Thank you folks for watching and thanks ASUS for participating. See you guys back here on motherboards.org.